What's going on everyone? It's Joe to Lawnware and today is going to be an interesting day. I'm going to paint my lawn. So let's get started. So like I was saying in my top five trend video, turf paint is going to be a big trend this year. Uh, it's already been pretty big uh, already in the professional industry, but I think in the homeowner, in the DIYer industry now, it might become a, a lot more popular. It is a pretty cool thing. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, there, Like I said, it's going to be a trend. Uh, some people are calling it a negative trend. They're calling those people fake natties. Uh, you, it, it's it's whatever it is. It is what it is. If you want to call those people fake natties at the end of the day, still be it. Uh, they just want a green lawn. That's what this is going to give you. This company right here that sent me their mixture is a company called Endurant. Uh, it's a pretty cool, uh, it's a really cool blend. This is their fairway blend. This is more for tall fescue, uh, Kentucky bluegrass lawns. They have a bunch of other blends as well, depending on your grass type. So what we're going to do, we're going to mix this up in my tank sprayer, my backpack sprayer by SprayMate. It's eight ounces of the turf paint per one gallon of water. So we're going to mix it up, spray it on the lawn, and we're going to have some fun. So we got two gallons filled up in the backpack sprayer. Got my endurant paint right here. Got my mixture and cup. We're gonna do eight, uh, we're actually gonna do 16 ounces of the turf paint. So I got two gallons in here of water. So I just got done taking the drone down. Just a quick couple observations. You definitely gotta start at one point and work to another point. So what I mean is, is for here, I work from the fence down to the sidewalk. Definitely do your edges first with the cardboard if you can. Be careful though, because that cardboard's gonna get wet at the bottom. I did get it on my uh, sidewalk and driveway in a couple spots. Be careful where you walk as well. Um, I got it on the bottom of my boots that I'm wearing and I definitely got a couple footprints. It's, it, it does seem like it's coming up pretty easily. I have a power washer so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, but be careful where you walk. It is paint, it, it's gonna get on the cement. Um, so just be careful, be conscious of where you're walking. So we're gonna do the next section next. Um, I think I'm gonna try and use the cardboard as much as I can, but to be honest, it is a pain in the ass. They do sell a tool. If you're gonna be doing this uh, as a professional or you're gonna be doing this in your business, um, it's a really cool tool that attaches to uh, a wand. Uh, it's it's expensive, but if you're going to be doing that a, this a lot, I would probably suggest you get that because it would probably make life a lot easier. Um, obviously, I'm, not, I'm just doing this at my house. But overall, I am pretty happy with this paint. I think it looks, it actually looks pretty realistic. It, it looks pretty good to me. Um, so hopefully once it dries, it still looks really good as well. But again, be careful where you're walking.
So it's been three hours since I put the turf paint down and let me tell you, it came in dark. I was really nervous at first. When I first was spraying it down, it definitely seemed a, a lighter color. When I first sprayed it, I was nervous. I didn't know how dark it was gonna get and it, it dried pretty dark as you can see here behind me on the front of my house. It definitely came in pretty dark. It's very similar to actually painting your walls or your ceiling, especially when you paint a wall uh, with a color. You know, usually it come, goes on with a lighter color and then as it dries, it, it, it gets darker. And it's very similar to this um, is how I would describe it. And so far I've been, I'm really impressed with this uh, turf paint. And this side of my driveway over here, I am super impressed. I mean, it is dark green. It looks really great. It is dry to the touch. I will show you in a second. Um, and again, it's been about three hours and it's it was pretty, I would say even dried within an hour after I sprayed it. Um, but I wanted to give it just a little bit longer before I came back out here and filmed a little bit for you guys to show you the results and what it looks like. So just to show you guys that I'm not bluffing, it is dry. I got my hand down in there and you can see no paint on my hand it's it's uh, nice and dark it is pretty sweet so overall I am very impressed with this turf paint I think it looks really awesome uh, especially if you don't want to you know go the fertilizer route or you know say you have some mistakes throughout the year um, and you want a green lawn I think this is a great option for you um, I'll leave a link to their website below and dirt again thank you for sending the paint out to me the links won't be affiliate links at all so go please go check them out it's really cool paint they actually actually have mulch paint as well I've used mulch paint in my past as well with my flower beds right here out front um, it's a really cool option if you don't want to spend money on new mulch I think the mulch paint is definitely a great avenue to go as well so just real quick a couple of things that I've noticed when I was putting down the turf paint it is definitely messy uh, you know it's it's paint it's gonna get on you uh, if you can control that overspray the best you can um, but it is going to get in places so please be careful if you use it I did use a fan tip a nozzle as you guys could see earlier um, I definitely felt that that helped or it definitely was a good tip to use for the paint aspect of it um, it's just it but like I said it's you're gonna get dirty so please wear boots like I did rubber boots wear old pants stuff like that wear gloves uh, so you don't get the paint on your hands um, it definitely rinsed off real easily I had a couple spots on my driveway uh, I just got a wire brush got some little bit of water and I was able to get it right off the cement real easily so that was a really awesome thing to see that it did not stain uh, as long as I got it up real quickly so that was a cool thing uh, but again turf paint awesome thing <laughs> it's really cool and if you want to be a fake natty out there go ahead and do it if you have any questions or concerns on today's video or if you have any comments about today's video make sure you leave them in the comment section below and if you can do me a favor and smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video it really does help out with the channel and like always guys i'll see you in the next one